Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 iPhone settings that you should turn off on your iPhone running iOS 13. Now I've done a few of these videos, but these are all new settings that I didn't mention on the previous video. So you should of course turn off these settings to get a better performance on your device as well as protect your data better and also protect the privacy on your iPhone running iOS 13. So here are 15 iPhone settings that you should turn off right now. The first setting you should turn off is found under the accessibility section. So this is a new setting that has been added to iOS with iOS 13.4. And if you scroll down here under accessibility, you will find Siri. If you go to Siri, right here we'll find a new option that says always listen for Hey Siri. Now what this will do is that it will keep Siri active all the time in the background. Even if your iPhone is facing down or is covered or something like that, it will still be hearing for that phrase, still hearing for Hey Siri. And that of course is convenient sometimes, but it will consume battery and performance as well on your device as it will be all the time active, just waiting for your command. So if you don't use Hey Siri that much, you don't need it to be on when it's facing down or covered or something, make sure you go ahead and turn this off. The next setting has also to do with Siri. Now this one is found under Siri and search. So if you go to Siri and search, you will have a few options here. The third one right here, allow Siri when locked. Now I suggest you go ahead and turn this off. So what this will do is basically turn off Siri. Siri won't function when your device is locked. You might have seen numerous videos on YouTube that show how like you can perform different tricks like to basically go ahead and get into the device with a passcode so that most of them are using Siri. So use different commands, different tricks to actually get into a device and jeopardize their data. So make sure you have that off. If you, again, if you don't need Siri that much, make sure you have that off. It will be better for the security of your data. The next setting is also found under the Siri and search section. So this one is found under announce messages. So if you go to announce messages and you turn on announce messages with Siri, then he will have an option that says reply without confirmation. So whenever you want to use Siri to reply, a message basically it will just send the message without reading it back to you so you can see if you have like a mistake there or you just dictated something wrongly so what you want to do is go ahead turn this off and then every time you want like to reply with a message Siri will first read that message for, to you and then will send it to the recipient Next, we have a couple of settings that are found under Face ID and Passcode. But I suggest once you go to the Face ID and Passcode section, you scroll down and just review all these right here. So every one of these settings that are turned on, that means that they these actions can be performed on your device even when your device is locked. So what you want to do is just take a really good look at these and see which you want to leave on. Now for this video, I will suggest you turn off Wallet and also you turn off reply with message. So when your device is locked, no one will be able to reply with a message. So you get a message, someone might just basically reply something without you knowing, even though your device is locked. So if you leave your device somewhere, then that message can be sent even without unlocking your device. So you wanna make sure you have these turned off. Next up is a setting that is found under the privacy section. So go to privacy, go to location services, and right here, if you scroll all the way down, you will have system services, scroll all the way down once more, and you will see significant location. Now, what this will do is that it will track your device and your movement. So let me just unlock this here. So basically what you will see here is like locations that you have visited, like significant locations that your iPhone will just keep track and keep the data right here. So it will have the history and you will have all the places here if you leave this on, of course. But what you can do is go ahead and turn this off and also you can clear the history here if you have already locations that are in this place. A few more settings here under the privacy section. So if you go to privacy and then you go to files and folders, right here we'll see a list of apps that have access to your files and folders. So what I want you to do here is just go ahead, visit this section of your device of the settings and make sure you check 
to which apps you have turned on permission to your files and folders. Now, sometimes when we install apps, we just like go through all the pop-ups, just clicking OK or Yes or something, and we might give permission to some apps that we don't want to have permission to our files or folders. So what you should do is go ahead and turn it off from here. The same goes for motion and fitness. So basically you have apps like fitness apps and all those apps, those all will require you to give permission to motion and fitness. So what you wanna do here is turn off any of the apps that you don't want to track your motion and fitness because that will consume a ton of battery they will work all the time in the background just basically tracking your motion and all that stuff so make sure you also review this list and turn off all the apps that you don't want to be tracking your motion next up is notes now if you go to settings and you go to the notes settings you will scroll down here and you will see a button that says save to photos so basically what this will do is that any like picture that you take from the notes app so you know with the notes app you can scan or you can take a picture directly on the notes app that will also save them to the camera roll of your device so it will have basically like duplicates of the same picture that means that that will just take extra space on your device so what you want to do is just simply go to settings, go to the notes settings and make sure you have turned off save to photos. The next setting is found under the Safari settings. So when you go to the Safari settings, make sure you just scroll all the way down and you will find here automatically save offline. Now this one has to do with reading lists. So when you add something like a website or something to the reading list, then it will automatically save that to offline so you will be able to read that even if your device is not connected to the internet but nowadays like 99% of the time we are connected to the internet and I don't think a lot of people will need that so that will just take extra space on your device so what you want to do is make sure you turn this off so all those files won't be cached and saved on your device locally Next up, we have a few settings here, basically a couple of settings under the sounds and haptics. The first one is here, change with buttons. Now this is of course optional, you can do this basically how you prefer it, but I prefer to turn this off right here. Now change with buttons, what it does is that it will change the ringer volume with the buttons. So once you use the plus and the minus buttons and you're out of the app, you're like on the home screen or somewhere, it will actually just change the volume of your ringer, not the volume of your media. So if you wanna always control the volume of your media with the buttons, then you can go ahead and turn off change with buttons. We have another setting here that says system haptics. Now what this does is that it just gives you like system, like haptic feedbacks. Every time you're on your device, when you go out of the app, you press something, it will just give you like these tiny vibrations. Those consume a ton of battery. So what you wanna do is make sure you have system haptics turned off. Next up, we have a setting here that is found under the camera settings. Now, here is what I suggest you do. Go to the camera settings, go to preserve settings, and turn off camera mode. Now, the reason I believe you should keep this off is that if you're, for example, on video or you're on slow-mo and you have this turned on, then once you open the camera the next time, it will still be there on video or in slow motion or in pano, whichever mode you're on. So why I think you should turn this off is that like sometimes I had this happen to me. So I'm making a video, I turn it off, I go out of the app, then the next time I need to quickly take a picture when I go to the camera mode, to the camera app, I'm on the video mode and then I will have to go ahead and go back to the photo mode. So if you want to automatically always go to the photo mode, which is the basic one, go ahead and turn off camera mode from preserved settings under the camera settings. The next setting is found under the podcast. So if you listen to podcasts, you know that if you download them to your device, they will take actually a ton of space. So what you want to do is go to settings, go to podcast and make sure you go to download episodes and turn this off. What this will do is that it allows you to just listen to episodes online without having to download them to your device locally because they take a ton of space. So if you like subscribe to a lot of like podcasts and you listen to a lot of them, they will just download on your device and will take a ton of space on your device. So make sure you have download episodes turned off. 
And last but not least is a setting found under the settler data. So if you go to settings, go to settler, scroll all the way down, you will find here a button that says iCloud Drive. Now, if you leave this on, it will use your settler data to basically back up, send stuff to your iCloud Drive. That will take a ton of data from your cellular plan. So if you have like a limited plan or you just want to save your data, make sure you turn this off and then it will send like stuff to your iCloud only when you're connected to the Wi-Fi network and not to your cellular data. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 15 iPhone settings that I believe you should turn off on your iPhone running iOS 13. Of course, in order to get better privacy, better security, as well as better performance and better battery life on your iPhone. Again, configuring these settings this way will help you get a better experience on your device. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you on the next one.